One, two, three, four, five. All right, hello everyone. We are back for more Solo Chemist. Hello, uh, this is our setup. <coughs> we're gonna be using this. We're knights at this stage, so we're gonna have maintenance. This is the Germanus Peak battle. As you saw from last video, we were trying to, or what we're wanting to do is, we want to get the Vanish Mantle during this battle, so we won't have to come here like a third time or whatnot, or however many times we need to come here. We're going to be farming, I think we need to come in from the north entrance to get the, it's either Chemist or Mediator, either way, that's the random battle that has magic guns. I'm so excited to get our magic guns, it's going to be so epic. So, that spot where the ninja is, is where the move find item is, where our vanish mantle is hidden. So we just need to climb up there and get it, and then we'll probably just hang out up there and shoot people. We want to take out the ninja first just because high damage and low health and high speed. Ninjas are rather powerful. Throws a rune blade. <clears throat> so, we're only gonna check the stats after we get the vanish mantle. Because if we don't get the mantle, we're just gonna reset. And so, there's no reason to know the stats that they have if we're not even gonna finish the battle, you know? That guy's bad compat though. We can check it while it's going, right? That's mostly what we need. Worst compat. Only thing we really need to know is the compatibility Virgo neutral. <coughs> Guarded. Aquarius is neutral. We throw something again. I guess we need to know if anyone has on item too. Those are the two things we need to know. Ether. We may be doing this a lot. There's only a... Tw we have a 26% chance of getting the Vanish Mantle. Not very high chances. You have a brave percent of the chance. A brave... Oh, I can't talk right now. You have a brave percent chance of getting the common item. Let me move my mic a second. And so, <clears throat> since our Brave is 74, that means we have a 26 chance of getting it. I did think of only having, trying to get only 72 Brave. And then we would have like a 28% chance, like way back when. But, we're using Auto Potion a lot more than we were using Move Fine. This is the only place we're going to use Move Fine, unless we decide to go into the deep dungeon, which I think we will. I actually think it'll be much more exciting and interesting to level up in the deep dungeon as opposed to that last battle, or the first battle in wherever that place is. I can't remember what it is, but there's that last string of battles. I don't know what the location is, but... Usually that's where you level up to 99, and instead of leveling up in that battle, I figured might as well level up right before that battle. It'll be more interesting that way. I may try and farm some of the items in the deep dungeons, but I'll try, I won't use them, just because in a normal SSCC you want to be having those items. So I don't want any unfair advantage when trying to beat this. Why wouldn't it be physical? It would hit a lot harder. Crazy thief. And we may actually try and beat the Serpentarius guy. I can't remember what his name is. Something with the E. Eliabos. Something like that. I don't know. But I think that would be a fun thing to do. Try and beat him solo chemist style. And just trying to beat that whole dungeon at Solo, like going down. That sounds like a fun side quest thing to do. We'll have to see how things go. We'll worry about that close when we get closer to actually 
doing it. Aha, 88. And gay. <sighs> Twenty six percent chance. We should have gotten it already. We've tried this more than four times. I mean, that's a one in four chance, right? That's the math. Because I think we tried three times last video, and that was two here. Getting unlucky. Which means this should be the one we get it, right? Right? Using that logic. Of course, that's not how probability works. We always, in our mind, like to think that it works like that, but it doesn't. Just because we were lucky and get something before doesn't mean it's going to start being unlucky. You know? <coughs> Something like that. Back to the Deep Dungeons talk. There's a lot of interesting items in the Deep Dungeon. The one item I probably wouldn't want to use the most is the Secret Clothes. I think this chemist can put Secret Clothes. Part of me really wants to, because it has the plus two speed. Our, it would, our health would go down for sure, but having... Ooh, good compat. But having the extra speed would be pretty epic because it's plus two speed but eh. I mean it could be useful for like fighting um bulk a second time because there's like a whole bunch of dragons or something I think in that battle it's kind of weird seeing them actually having like high level stuff. I'm used to them not having anything decent. So them having like decent equipment and stuff is like starting to surprise me for some reason. Not sure why. <gasps> I really just want to get this feather mantle so we can go on to the next battle. We don't have too much more to go, really. shoot him again. I think two more shots and he's dead. Assuming we keep this battle going. Which we don't. This dang ether. We're just gonna keep doing this till we get it. I wonder if I can find stats on that boss in the deep dungeon. I gotta figure out his name though now, don't I? I already have the battle guide up. I'm probably gonna keep having it up before doing the battles. I need to find the regular guide. La 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 la, searching on the internets. La la la. La la la. La 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 la. I had to stop singing the push start. That's very important. La la la. I see there are two deep dungeon guides on Game Facts. Um, maps. Items. Let's see. Mm. Blah blah blah. Oh wow, you can move find a Chiri Chidian on the last spot? That's pretty epic. They just have maps that they don't have anything about the boss. Can I at least find out his name? Um, 
Alright, here's his name. Elid Dibs. So let's just search that name on Google and see if we can come up with his Final Fantasy Wiki. Hopefully they have stats on him. Um Come on, where is this health and whatnot? Blah blah blah. Let's see. He starts at level 75 with 70 brave and faith, and has roughly 2730 HP and 1135 MP. Well, Dang it! That's a lot of... It's a lot of HP. <laughs> I mean, I guess we'd be having our magic gun, so... He's immune to ice element. That's interesting. I mean, there's not even a chance that we're gonna fight this guy. And he has Zodiac. So... I mean, having to tank damage from that might be pretty difficult. Alrighty, let's try and get this mantle again. Other abilities he has. Uh, snake carrier, attack with a monstrous serpent. Range of one. Poison frog turns the target into a toad with a serpent's gaze. So it does toad and poison. That sounds pretty intense. Midgar swarm. Attack by summoning a spectral serpent. And zodiac. So it only has four things. So we need to protect against frog in that battle if we were doing it. Huh, and it's instantaneous. Zodiac has a speed of 10, so we'd be able to double turn that. I don't know, I'm kind of slightly curious to try and do that battle now. Dang guy. thing to do maybe well whatever back to trying to get this vanish mantle can we get it already I want to do this battle because after this battle there's that one with all the undead units and as a chemist that's just lulzy deals for the physical hit Yes, an auto potion. Okay. Ha ha! Yeah, I figured line of sight I wouldn't be able to hit him. Can't hit anyone. Probably hit this guy if we shoot all the way over here. Well, since we're actually going, gonna do this battle now, let's check the stats. I like saying that. Check the stats. Go all fancy saying it. Okay. So, throw and steal. Charge and basic skill. He's neutral. Worst. Back and pat. Charge and basic skill. Steal and elemental. Neutral. Steal and jump. Charge and steal. <clears throat> so, no healing. No. Nothing we have to worry about, really. Lots of stealing. They can't steal my heart. They can't charm me. And no stealing items. So steal is pretty much worthless, except for throwing. Jump. All oh, rather fast, though. These are nine. And just eleven, except flash man. So it's just basic skill and elemental. So I'm going to take out the ninja first, and then probably the um, elemental thief. We don't want any procs. Still missed. Well, how about that? 
levels with terrain like this are difficult just because of... Strange. They're difficult because the um, gun's line of sight can be bad for shooting. But battle strategy for this is tank damage like a boss. That's about all we need to do. We don't want to take the highest ground because that's just bad for us as far as doing stuff. I mean, we get to avoid the archers, but it's just not good for us. The gun's line of sight is pretty much like a straightforward shot. Are they going to like block me in and keep me trapped up here? I want to get down. Bastard. That hurt. This is why we want this ninja dead. What's my health at? We can survive. We're gonna try that shot. There we go. I don't think he can hit me from there. We're gonna face this way. Maybe he can. That guy can. Aha! <clears throat> the archer's gonna be able to start hitting me soon. But we have a mantle. This mantle has given us some epic dodges recently. Particularly against that wizard spell and that bulk fight. I don't like this guy. Not at all. He's gonna do a front shot, I guess. Oh, you can't attack from up there. Dodge. Double dodge. Archer's gonna be able to hit us from there now, but... <clears throat> eh, I just feel like moving down here. We're not gonna be able to outrun anyone, really. Ninja's as fast as me. You just have to be cautious about my health. We can't be super reliant on auto potion like we always have been. Relying too much on auto potion is bad. It's funny when long arrows are critical hits. It's just silly. Two more shots on that ninja. No auto potion makes me sad. Maybe I should get close enough to the thief that will be inclined to do a physical attack as opposed to elemental. Because if we get stopped, that's like GG. And we just need to put this ninja in the critical. And then we can just put everyone in the critical pretty much. And then... Because he's just going to run away. And then like pick off pretty much everyone in the critical little by little. That sounds kind of like a good idea. Dang, no hits and, er, hits and no auto potion. What, I calculated that that's only like a 14% chance of me getting hit and no auto potion? Which is a pretty low chance. Can he hit me from, okay, I didn't think so. Yeah, ninja's just gonna run now, so we don't have to deal with him. He's what, neutral compared? not a holy grail spot like we had before, but it's it's good enough that... Oh, there's three archers. For some reason I was thinking there was only two. Aha! Oh, jeez. I can't wait to try out our vanish mantle. It's gonna be fancy. I want to check which entrance it is to get... But which entrance it is we need to have to get our magic gun or start trying to farm it. Um, 
battle guy. Is that what I want? I'm not even sure what I'm looking out. What I'm looking for. I think it's the battle guy I want. Not the one I have. No, I want the battle list, not the battle guide. There we go. Oh, potion. Alright, let's see. It is indeed the north entrance, which means we can farm it, start trying to farm it right after this battle. I'm not sure if I'm going to want to do that or go ahead and at least take out that next battle since it'll be easier for us. I kind of want to just get our magic guns anyway. Where did that other thief go? Oh, he's down there. Force that guy to move and act. And in that position, if he wants to elemental me, he's going to have to elemental his friend as well. <laughs> 16, why wouldn't you shoot? That makes absolutely no sense. Oh, and he decides not to. I think if we wait, we double turn and we can kill him. dashed me. Five damage. It's so much. Oh, I don't think we can take it. Darting. Just seeing that ninja wait all the time is annoying me, so we're gonna kill him. Oh, just out of range. We're just gonna kill this guy then. Now we're going to wait to save the CT. Really? So even if I moved, he would have been able to get the jump, so it doesn't matter. I guess we're just going to go for this thief now. Just because... Why not? Alrighty. There's one archer we're like worse than cat with him. Yeah, that guy. Haha. -ha. I like saying haha -ha when I dodge stuff. Haha. -ha. <laughs> uh, but there's not much to talk about as far as the strategy for this battle. It's just our normal tank damage like a boss strategy. Three guarded sit in a row. Oh, yeah. Row status. Shoot you point blank. I'm not good compared with any of them online. No if I am, I'm going to go for them first, like immediately. I think it's two neutrals and a bad. Because that's bad. No, I guess it's bad, worst, and neutral. Oh, that's lovely. Wow, Mantle is doing pretty good. Oh, two bads and a worse? Great. That just means longer battles. Well, whatever. You know, you don't see enemies with Ares very often. He's gonna jump on me because of the CT again. Oh. So jumping and physical attacking does the same damage, so it's pretty much useless and pointless to do it. Well, whatever. And it still makes no sense to throw a stone. Haha, <laughs> critical. Two bads and a worse compat, so now it's just picking away at these archers now. Auto potion is indeed an extremely broken tactic, or extremely broken reaction ability. 
by far the best reaction ability, or defensive reaction ability by far. Except if you want to say Bloody Grasp, I guess, because it gives you such a good evade. But like seriously, Auto Potion is ridiculous. Should I have faced left? Or that would have given me that extra 7%? Probably. Our mantle is doing pretty dang good though. I can't hit any of those from here. Dang line of sight. I don't really care though. We have this battle won. We have our vantage mantle. I think we will go ahead and try and farm our guns. I want one stone gun. I want a stone gun and any of the magic guns. I don't particularly care which one. I guess I would like a glacier gun if anything, but it really doesn't matter. Aha! That was the same amount of damage my last crit was. Pretty strange, huh? I guess that's pretty damaging since he's back on that, but yeah. This bot guy is about the box or crystal or something. Hopefully this guy I've been damaging will be it. I'm guessing he'll run for the damage as opposed to... Unless he has basic skill, then he'll get it and then... But, nah, it's not a problem, so... Double turn. Hey, uh. Slowly picking away at them. I'm guessing they're even gonna start. They're still gonna try and attack me while they have. Bad something. Or when they're low health, they'll still probably attack me because they'll be in range for it. <laughs> Those silly slow shot crits. You would think a critical hit would be from like a fast arrow like that. You would expect that to be a critical, not slow flying over. But, mm. does it like show the speeds for each charge? That would be interesting to know. I can double turn that guy. I guess that ninja's gonna double turn me anyway, again. Alrighty, alrighty. Put this guy in critical. Will that put him in critical? Yeah. attacking. That high ground pretty much has access to the entire stage. I'm surprised the basic skill guy hasn't attempted to, um, I can't shoot any of them right from where I'm at. Oh, I still can't shoot that guy. I wish I could get some super epic critical off the edge hit like Arcale did. That was probably the best thing ever in this challenge. Or in his, in his challenge. Not this challenge. Oh! You 
bastard. I knew I should have just killed that ninja. I've never seen a unit go for a crystal like that. Well, that just made this battle annoyingly longer for no reason. You jerk. Well, I'm killing you for sure now. But yeah, I've never seen something like that happen. I guess he was staying out of my attack range until I moved. I should have just killed him. I should have just killed him like I was thinking. crystal what's that awkward sound okay that awkward sound why does the game do that sometimes dang ninja Ninja comes in, throws something. I'm gonna shoot him. It hits. Man, stupid ninja. I'm really mad at him. What's that guy doing? Chamber room? Is that really? goes for a physical now? No. Was that like an angel ring or something? See, even though they're incredible, I still have to deal with their shots. Which is really annoying. He's just staying there though. He's good. Two more shots on the ninja, I believe. I'm glad that guy's just waiting. Yeah, two more shots. And we're killing you this time. No more deciding to let you live. What's his reaction? Nothing. So close. Okay, I'm gonna go up there and kill those guys after I kill this guy. Just so there's no... Oh, hey, look at that. A crystal after I kill this ninja. You know. Oh, are you serious? I guess I can't shoot these guys either. Frickin'. I'm gonna go ahead and kill these guys while I'm up here then. Where are you gonna run, my friend? Nowhere. 
That guy's gonna take two shots anyway, that one that just hit me. Since he's back, I'm Pat. It's, yeah, not gonna hit. <sighs> Line of sight. Thank you. Thank you for moving somewhere I can actually shoot you now. Is the other guy gonna try and run too? I hope so. Good, good. Oh, I was hoping that would be my critical hit that pushed him off the edge. That would have been epic. Slowly but surely picking them off, away, down, out, some other adjective that means death. You did. And I want this guy to move away so that we get a better position for shooting. Then we'll kill him and the ninja. And then it's just me versus a worse compact guy. Again. This is what, the third battle this has happened? in for another dash. Oh, he's starting to shoot again. If he'd hidden behind that rock, he could survive. But you didn't. And that was dead. Move somewhere where I can shoot you. That's not somewhere I can shoot you, silly bear. line of sight. I hate levels like this. And that's going to make the getting our guns rather difficult. What's the speed? Eight? Please don't crystallize, I will be so mad. Alright, treasure box. Dang it. Wind slash bow. Yay! Something to sell. I don't even need money, so I haven't been selling my stuff. I mean, we earn enough money in battles to fund our potion addiction as we chug potions every second we get hit. So. Three. Ugh, stupid lines. Stop moving down there! because we can't kill this guy fast enough, which means more money. I can't shoot him from here. I thought we would be able to this stage sucks. Is the regular random battle at Jimmy's Peak gonna look like this too? Or is it gonna be like a different location, kinda like how the... No, it's not. It would've had two maps and then we'd find... Thing, if it were. 
Yay. I think we can double turn him now, so that means GG. Yep. There we are. Jarena's Peak is done. Much longer battle than it needed to be. Stupid ninja getting an that crystal. Feather boots. Jermina's boots. We are on Jermina's peak. And those boots are named after it. I guess people wore those boots to help move around that place. Yes, yes. Alright, so we're going to move back to the town. We're going to put on... Change. And I think we're gonna do our mantle, actually. Our banish mantle. 35 physically bade and transparent. Keep that enables one to be invisible. Ooh. So we're gonna come in invisible so we can move around to a good position to when we're trying to farm our mantle or our farm our guns. Oh, a lot of potions. And so, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and save. Save on this spot here. And then, next episode, we're gonna get our magic guns. I'm uber excited about it. So, yeah. See you then.